What's up everyone, I'm Callum on Toast, and in today's video I'm going to be showcasing 10 of the spiciest love cup battles you're likely ever going to see. These battles were submitted to the channel by my subscribers during the recent Go Battle Day, so a massive thank you to everyone that entered the competition. You guys have absolutely smashed it once again. As usual, I'll be making polls here on YouTube later today where you can vote for your favourite spicy team featured in today's video. With that being said, let's Let's get into the question of the day. What's the spiciest or most unique team you've battled against in the Love Cup? Let me know in the comment section down below and with that being said, let's get into the battles now. Alright so going into the first battle here we lead with a wash form Rotom into a Talonflame, the dream lead, perfect lead here. We're going to go straight for the Thunderbolt, if this lands it's going to one shot the Talonflame, perfect. We're going to swap now into a Hisuian Braviary. Could have honestly stayed in there because Bullet Punch would be double resisted by the Water and Electric typing. But we do grab a shield in this matchup and I think at this point we kind of just have to let Braviary go down. It's clear they don't have a very strong answer to the Wash Form Rotom. So we're going to come back in with it now. And you can see these Bullet Punches are doing absolutely nothing. But we will shield the Night Slash as Rotom isn't very tanky at all. We're now going to double shield here. They get to a second Night Slash. We're going to farm to nearly 100 energy go for the thunderbolt and this should be grabbing the final shield up against the scissor we're gonna have to let this charge move go through gonna be another night slash that does big damage can we get the full farm down yes we can we've got so much energy loaded and they've got a scrafty in the back we're gonna come in with our deli bird i don't think this is fully powered up but it doesn't matter too much we've already got a hydro pump loaded on our rotom Aerial Ace gets the Scrafty into the yellow health. They farm us down, but we're going to win the CMP tie. Go for the Hydro Pump, and this will easily be knocking out the Scrafty, and we take that game. So a pretty crazy battle to start off the video. Here, you guys really enjoyed the Mr. Mime showcase in my last Battle of Spice video. So here it is popping up again. They're going to swap into an Electrode and we swap here to catch the charge move. We also get that Confusion Damage registered and that means that a Tri Attack will pretty much put them into farm down range, which is really great for our Porygon too. We're now going to shield in this matchup and we will be able to fully farm them down before they get to the next charge move and that's perfect. We have barely any health remaining and here we're going to go for our tri attack we've built to 100 energy so we have the back to back charge moves we debuff their defense and their attack go for a second tri attack grab both shields get two debuffs i've just realized as well this ariados is running infestation instead of poison sting we're now going to go for a psychic up against the slow bro i don't know why we didn't go for the uh, the shadow ball there but it doesn't matter we get a full farm down that might be even better in this scenario we're now going to shield across poison we get to the zap cannon this is absolutely gonna one shot the ariados and we take that game into the next game here we've got a crawdon into the lead in the lead here and ariados kind of a core breaker for this team although we do hit for super effective damage with confusion or rock throw but we catch a super effective lunge very interesting play there they come in with a water gun slow bro so that's not ideal in the slightest we go for a rock slide it is debuffed it doesn't do that much damage but we're now going to come in with a hisuian electrode and we do resist the water guns coming from the slow bro so that's a pretty good matchup for us we're going to farm to the back-to-back -back wild charges before unleashing our energy the first wild charge grabs the first shield we get to the second one before they can throw a charge move this second wild charge grabs the final shield and at this point i think we're gonna shield in this matchup they go for an ice beam and now they're gonna swap into the Ariados, we get to the Night Slash, this will be taking out the Ariados, Crawdon is quite a glassy Pokemon so it's got a very high attack stat, we're able to Water Gun, uh, Waterfall farm down the Slowbro, they've got a Talonflame in the back, we get to the back to back Night Slashes here, this is perfect, Night Slash actually doesn't take them out and we weren't actually at the back to back, so unfortunately Flame Charge gonna take out the Crawdon but it doesn't matter, one Thundershock takes out the Talonflame and we take that game. Into the next game we've got a Gorbis into a 
Macargo. Is it going to be Rock Throw? We don't know. They're going to swap into Ariados and we're running Confusion. And this opponent is certainly confused because they thought Ariados would be a fairly safe swap. But unfortunately for them, that is not the case. We're able to get to a Water Pulse. Not a very good move here. But we take them out and they come back in with the Macargo. At this point, we're going to have to come in with our XL Stuffle. I believe this barely isn't fully powered up yet but it doesn't matter we are resisting the rock throws they go for the overheat and they're forced to stay in here they're finally able to swap out but we go for the stomp stomp gonna do some decent neutral damage we can come in with ariados get a ton of loaded energy here throw just before they get to a side shock and cross poison grabs the first shield we're now going to win the cmp tie up against the sylveon get to a second cross poison that takes out the sylveon now we're going to go for another cross poison here not committing to the megahorn for whatever reason cross poison doesn't do that much damage and they get the farm down so yeah we should have gone for the megahorn but it doesn't look like it's going to matter because we go for a stomp their rock throws are doing no damage whatsoever and we're able to fully tackle farm down the macargo and take that game into next game here we're leading with a porygon z or porygon 2 sorry into another town flame we go for the tri attack tri attack grabs the first shield and we get the debuff straight away which is perfect are we going to shield this charge move yes we are it's a flame charge bait so that wouldn't have taken us out we go for another tri attack they are now debuffed and they're debuffed a second time so tri attack getting the debuff every single time so far we go for another try attack up against medicham we don't get the debuff this time but that's perfectly fine they don't even build to the psychic they go straight for a nice punch it does super effective damage but it doesn't take us out and now at this point i think you just let vile plume go down you don't really need switch advantage ice punch takes us out but this medicham is easily in range for us to lock on farm down with octillery they're now going to come in with Hisuian Electrode. Surely they're not expecting the Gunk Shot. They've got no shields remaining. Gunk Shot from full health takes out the Electrode. And at this point, we should be able to easily get to a Octazooka up against the Talon Flame. They bait us once again with a Flame Charge. Doesn't really matter. This Octazooka isn't that great of a move, but it does big damage here. They are finally at another charge move. Brave Bird takes us out but we're able to lock on farm down with the Porygon 2 and take that game. Into the next game, we've got a Shadow Camerupt into a crustal now this actually isn't that bad of a matchup because the sub ground typing does mean we take neutral damage from these smackdowns and we get to an earth power on the cmp tire with this crustal i think at this point we're just gonna let this go through it's just an x scissor that actually doesn't do very much damage at all but they are able to farm us down we come in with our shadow scissor now and we are gonna look to let this go through once again just another x scissor that's perfect they're gonna come in with a wormadam trash we're going to go for a Night Slash here. Not sure why we're throwing the Charge Move because one Fire Punch is going to be enough to take out this Wormadam Trash. It is double super effective damage and they just choose to let it go through. So yeah, I think maybe that Night Slash was wasted energy, but they've got an Ariados in the back. This is great for our Magmortar. This Fire Punch is going to grab the final shield from the opponent. And now we just have to be wary of a catch from this opponent. They go for a Cross Poison. They're going to get to a second Cross Poison before we get to the next fire punch here we've got to be very careful about a catch and they do try to catch so we swap out get the simultaneous ko get to the fire punch and from this range fire punch takes out the ariados and we take that game into the next game here we've got a sea king and that's not typically spicy until you realize that it's not a triple legacy sea king and actually it's not a legacy sea king whatsoever we're actually running waterfall ice beam and mega horn so very interesting moveset here we go for a superpower on the cmp tie the town flame shields it up which is perfect for us because we can now come in with the sea king fully farm them down although we will have to use a shield here they go for the brave bird that would have taken us out but that's fine we're we're now going to go for an ice beam unfortunately ice beam not going to do that much damage but we do threaten with a drill run so they are forced to shield now they come in with a incinerate macargo we farm just before they get to a charge move superpower takes out the macargo we're now going to shield in this matchup and probably go for another superpower just before they reach the next charge move superpower from this range should be doing big damage it is debuffed but it still takes out the electrode and we take that game 
Into the next game here, we've got a triple Charmander theme team. We lead into a Scrafty, very good lead here. And we're gonna swap and catch the foul play onto a 36 CP shiny Charmander. What an insane catch. Oh, that was crazy. And now here, we're gonna come back in with a Charizard, go for a Dragon Claw bait. This is a bit risky, kind of unnecessary, and the opponent does call it. And now at this point, I think we're gonna shield and then fully farm them down. They're not swapping out, which leads me to believe that whatever is in the back is very weak to Charizard. And that is absolutely correct because they've got a Medicham, so double fighters so far. What on earth have they got in the back if Medicham is their best response to this Charizard? We go for a Blast Burn and we still get to another Dragon Claw before Medicham throws a charge move. Dragon Claw gets the final shield. We swap into our Charmeleon and we're going to shield this move. It's just a power punch, unfortunately, but we Fire Fang farm them down. They've got Arados in the back, so they were triple weak to Charizard. And this opponent is probably reconsidering their life choices at the moment because they've just been beaten by a Charmander themed team in the Love Cup. But what a crazy battle. Into the next game here, we've got a triple middle stage evolution fire starter team. And we're leading into a Scrafty. This is not ideal, but I think we swap into our sub fighting type Pokemon so that the foul play isn't going to do much damage. Although we started off with a sub fighting type anyway. So what am I talking about? But here they've got a confusion rock type user up against a triple fire team with two of them being sub fighting. I have no idea how we're going to win this game. They go for a sidekick and yeah, this is not looking good for us whatsoever. We're going to go for the flame charge. Flame charge grabs the final shield and unfortunately they're still able to confusion farm us down. How on earth are we going to win this? I still cannot see a possible win condition. They go for another Psychic. We commit to the Ember Farm down. They come back in with Scrafty. We've only got resisted Rockside to throw into the Scrafty. Rockside doesn't do that much damage. And I've now realized that they're actually running Snarl instead of the counter, which they should be running, meaning we're going to be able to fully Ember Farmer down. They've got a Charizard in the back. That was like the only thing we could have beat in the back. But Rockside one shots the Charizard and somehow we take that game. And into the next battle, I think this is the final battle now. We have an XL Slowpoke, level 51, best buddy boosted. And we've also got a Legacy Quick Attack. I think this is unobtainable Legacy Quick Attack and Discharge. Porygon, not Porygon 2, not Porygon Z, but just normal Porygon. That is a crazy Pokemon to have. We go for a Discharge. Unfortunately, the opponent doesn't call a Solar Beam, so they let it go through. But a second Discharge will take them out. And in this range, we should barely get to another Discharge before Medicham farms us down if they come back in with it. And that's exactly what happens. We get to the Discharge. Not going to do too much damage, but some nice chip. We're going to come back in with the Slowpoke. They come in with their own slow. Pokemon, but it's a slow bro. We're gonna over farm, not throw before they get to the charge move. Not sure about this decision. We also shield a psychic, and also I don't really see them shielding in this matchup now. They've grabbed both shields, but we get an attack boost and we farm them down, which is perfect. We're very close to the back to back charge moves. We go for a night slash, grab the first shield, and honestly, they have to go for a psychic to take us out. Power punch isn't gonna do enough damage. They recognize that, so they actually undercharge it hoping to get more farm, but that allows us to get to the charge move. And now here we can swap out, go for a Psychic with our Slowpoke. Psychic takes out the Medicham and we take that game. So that's going to be it for today's video. Those were some insanely spicy battles in the Love Cup. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, let me know. And as well, don't forget to respond to the question of the day if you haven't done so already. And don't forget later tonight, there will be polls going up so you can vote for your favorite spicy team featured in the video. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and let's get into the shout outs from my previous video. So firstly, we've got R2 Loppy U who says, obviously pink Jellicent. And I still don't understand why it's not allowed. I guess they probably don't know how to code it so that you can only use female and not male Jellicent. That's probably the only reason. But yeah, it's a bit unfortunate because Jellicent would be a great core breaker to the Medicham Charizard core, which is so common in the current meta. Next, we've got Oscar Vigan who says, red flower florages, but that would be unfair across the globe since it is regional in Europe. 
So yeah, another one where it's got multiple different forms with different colors, um, but yeah, it definitely would be unfair, so I can see why they've not included it. And finally, we've got Rex Zera who says Mewtwo and Shadow Mewtwo. I think all legendaries and mythicals are banned and the main reason for that is because Deoxys Defense would have been so OP in this meta, but I don't see why they couldn't have just banned that one Pokemon in particular and let the rest of them stay in because you got Pokemon like Mew and Mewtwo, which certainly would have added a bit more flavor into the Love Cup meta. So with that being said, thank you all so much for watching today's video and I hope you have a great rest of your day.